Good morning, people. So today is Sunday, July 10th, and today is day one of my bowling ball weight loss vlog. For the last two months, I've gained 15 pounds on purpose, just so that I can make this vlog and show you guys what it takes to lose it. So we're gonna do the weigh-in right now and see what we're at. So we're currently sitting at 201 pounds. Um, I'm gonna do this for 30 days and in the next 30 days, I plan to be under 190. So that gives me, need to lose about three pounds a week, two and a half pounds a week. Sounds about right. So I'm gonna try to update this vlog about two or three times a week. There's no way I can do daily updates. That's just way too much time and effort. And I've been in the gym for the last 12 years and studying exactly what goes into getting fit. And I know everything about it down to like a scientific level. So I'm gonna try to explain everything in a way that the average person can understand. And hopefully by the end of this vlog, you'll understand everything that you need to know to get into shape if you want to. So I think you need to understand where I'm coming from. When I was a kid, I was really overweight and I just played Warcraft all day, I ate pizza at McDonald's, I drank sodas like nothing. And I had no clue what went into fitness. So when I first got into working out, I was trying all these fad diets that you hear about. I tried uh, Slim Fast. Um, I remember my mom bought this ice cream called Skinny Cow and I ate a bunch of them because I was like, oh, it says skinny on it. So maybe if I eat it, I'll get skinny. That's how messed up my knowledge was, and I assume that's how messed up the knowledge is for the average person that doesn't know anything about fitness. So I'm gonna base my explanation off that knowledge and hopefully you'll understand exactly what you need to know. So the first and I think the most important lesson is that fat is simply energy and calories are energy. And one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. And every movement you make burns calories like this. I'm burning like half a calorie doing this. So if you eat more than your body burns, you gain weight. It's as simple as that. Your body also naturally burns calories just being alive, like to pump your blood, to pump your heart. Everything you do, your body's using energy to keep you sustained. There are a lot of variables in that. Obviously, we all burn calories different. Some of us are more active. Some of us are bigger. Some of us just naturally burn more calories for some reason. But it's as simple as weight gain. If you're eating more calories than your body burns throughout your daily activity, you're gonna gain weight. The hard part is figuring out how much you burn because we're all different. Um, some of us walk 10 miles a day with our jobs. Some of us work out every day. Uh, some of us don't do anything and just lay on the couch all day. I do that sometimes, honestly. So that's the only difficult part, just figuring out how much you burn. Uh, once you get a good idea of how much you burn, it's so much easier to learn to lose weight. And with that being understood, the kind of food you eat really doesn't matter for fat gain or loss. You could literally eat McDonald's all day, every day. But if you're counting the calories and you're eating less calories than you burn, you're going to lose weight, even though you're eating McDonald's every day. I've actually done that and I don't recommend it. You don't feel very good when you do that, um, but it's possible. Also, I find when I'm eating fast foods and junk foods and fried foods, I'm less likely to feel satisfied. Like I, my cravings are a lot higher. I can eat a lot more of that food and it's just very hard to stay under your goal when you're eating food like that. It's possible, but it's very difficult. And that's it. That's all there is to weight gain or weight loss. If you wanna lose weight, figure out how many calories you burn on average daily and eat less than that and your weight will naturally decline. So for me, for example, I burn about 3,500 calories per day. I'm very active. I walk five to 10 miles per day at my job. I work out most days, I play sports. Uh, that's my natural burn. So for me to lose three pounds a week, I have to eat about 2,000 per day and that'll get me to my goal of hitting under 190 in the 30 days. So that's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna eat about 2,000 calories per day and 1,500 calorie deficit is very extreme. Um, the maximum recommended is about 1,000 deficit per day to not feel like you're starving. Like when I eat 2,000 per day, I feel very hungry normally, but 
There's some tricks to that that I will go over in the vlog. And if you just stay tuned the entire month, you will understand everything that you need to know. So that's the lesson for today. I'm going to try to put one important lesson in each vlog update. Because if I explained everything you need to know in all, all in one video, it'd probably be like an hour or two long. And I think that's just excessive. So there's actually two lessons for this first vlog because there's two very important things you need to understand. Uh, there's two different processes that happen when you're getting into shape. It's not like you just go from fat to fit. Uh, there's the fat loss aspect of it, and then there's the muscle gain aspect of it, which is a totally different process that's, happen that's happening at the same time as the fat loss. So if you simply just didn't eat and you didn't work out, you would lose weight, but you're gonna go from fat to skinny fat or just skinny and at a certain point, you're gonna just look like a Holocaust victim. So, working out is important because you want to have muscles to show once you get to a low body fat. So that's what working out is for. You're building the muscles underneath the fat. And once you get rid of the fat, your muscles will show and that's the definition, that's the fit body. You know, that's kind of what the goal is. And yeah, that's the second lesson. So the key is for building muscle. You wanna stress out the muscles that you wanna grow. So if you want bigger shoulders, you need to do shoulder workouts, etc. And if you want a pretty even looking body, you wanna hit every single body part. And to grow the muscle after you've worked the muscle out, you need a high protein diet, which for me is about 150 grams per day at minimum. Um, for you, maybe 100 grams would be decent if you're a beginner. Um, it just all depends on your goals and where you're at. So so that's basically all there is to getting into shape. Um, I will have more advanced techniques and ideas in future vlogs, but those are the basic essentials you need. So now we're gonna do the first workout, which is leg day. There's four main muscle groups in the legs. There's the quads, the hamstrings, uh, the calves and the glutes are part of your legs too. So we're gonna hit all of those and this is how it goes. So if you're a total beginner, you might be okay just doing body weight squats with no weights at all. You know, this might be very difficult for you. Uh, but for me, I'm very advanced. So we're gonna do an advanced workout with bowling balls. So if you're a semi-beginner, maybe one bowling ball squats are enough resistance for you to make a pretty good workout. Uh, if you're slightly more advanced, maybe a whole bag. But for me, we're gonna do split squats. So I'm gonna target each individual leg and do a split squat with his bench. Killers. I hate doing these, but they feel so good and they destroy your quads. We're gonna do four sets of 10 on each side for this workout. So the next workout is straight leg deadlifts. Uh, these will target your hamstrings and your glutes. So let's get to it. And now for calves. Uh, calves are very weird. I feel like they grow different. Uh, they're very hard to grow for some people, but we're gonna try anyway. We're gonna do some calf workouts. Oh. 
So that's basically a full leg workout. I feel like I didn't hit my quads enough, so we're gonna do a few more sets of the split squats and then we'll call it. The worst part about hitting legs is that you use them to walk. So the rest of your day is usually extremely difficult. And that's a full leg workout. It took me about 35 minutes. Not too bad. That's really all you need for a decent workout. 30 to 45 minutes. That'll, that'll do you pretty good. I normally spend about an hour in the gym. But that's all you need. Now it's time to eat. A lot of people think that to get into shape, you need to eat boring foods like spinach, salads, and plain chicken. That's not the case. That is not the case at all, especially if you know how to cook. So we are making burritos. And I know what you're thinking, Rudy. Burritos aren't healthy, but you're kind of right. If you go to Taco Bell and get a burrito, it's not healthy. But if you make it yourself and you know what you're looking for, it can be very healthy. So the key to eating healthy is low calorie, high protein. So for example, the beef, I got 96% lean, 4% fat. We're looking at 140 calories and 23 grams of protein per serving. That's pretty good. And if you get the fattier beef, it's gonna be a lot worse. So I like a 10 to one ratio. I, I feel like if it's over 10 to one, it's really good. I think I'm one of the only people that doesn't cry when chopping onions. No, but seriously, I don't understand the whole meme on the internet. Non-fat Greek yogurt, really good. Tastes a lot like sour cream in a burrito. Low carb tortillas, 70 calories, five grams of protein. Not bad. Reduced fat cheese, uh, 70 calories, eight grams of protein. Uh, Fat-free cheese is a lot better, but Target didn't have fat-free, so we're going with this. And avocados aren't really that good in terms of protein to calories, but they taste good and they're good for you, I guess. I don't know. I don't really understand much about health. Ironic, isn't it? Red enchilada sauce. Uh, not much protein, but very important for flavor. Protein burrito. This whole thing is maybe 250 calories. Uh, I'd say probably 20, 25 grams of protein. I'll have the actual math here afterwards once I calculate it. But that's all there is to eating healthy. Just gotta figure out, you know, <laughs> just gotta figure out uh, protein and calories. And that's the main thing. I got a Coke Zero, not the best. It probably causes cancer but it has zero calories, so. Mm -hmm. Eating healthy should not be that delicious. So that's all there is to it, literally. This is basically everything you need to know. <clears throat> this vlog went a lot longer than I expected, but I hope this helped out some of you guys. And yeah, I'm gonna finish this burrito. See ya.